it's been a long time since I've been on YouTube. Um, let's just say I stopped doing it about three years ago, and I'm about to graduate this year, and I miss it, and I'm awkward, but I'll get over it, I'll get used to it, but I'm supposed to be doing a Q&A, but I don't have my phone, so I don't know my questions, but we have a guest, and she's very close to my heart, she's my favorite person in the world, Great Meg! Have you seen my phone? Have you seen my phone? It's not in your back pocket. Mm, no. <laughs> Technical difficulties. It'll be okay. Why are you grinning like that? Because <laughs> I'm awkward, that's why. Because what? Because I'm awkward, that's why. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Bambi. <laughs> oh. That's unnecessary and uncalled for. Who are you talking to? The dog. Oh. Lolly, stop chewing on that. This is going to be very boring. I can already tell. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm, I'm, bo I'm bored of myself. I'm bored of myself too. So we're doing a Q and A, and we're gonna answer the ones that my um, the people have requested. It's not it. Screenshots. Okay. Okay. So this is just something that the family have asked us on Instagram, and then I'm going to look some questions up that I think would be fun to answer. If I choose to answer. Yes, if you choose to answer. Ready. So, <clears throat> Nick said, when is Grammy making me in Paradise? When he comes down to Florida to visit his Grammy and Poppy. Okay. <laughs> I'm not traveling to cook. And yes, then I would. Aunt Kim said, "What is your favorite Christmas memory?" Don't cry. <laughs> Noche buena in the house of Montague, with fireplace going, and the stockings hung by the chimney with care, and all my grandkids who were already born by then. I probably wasn't born. Yeah, you were. And all my six children. It was nice. It was warm. It was it's fuzzy. warm and fuzzy. It's warm and fuzzy. <laughs> it's New Jersey. It's not okay. My family is warm and fuzzy to me. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Mom said, "Who's your favorite kid?" But no, you're not answering that one. No, I'm not answering that one. I never will. Who do you spend the most time with? Or who did you spend the most time with? At what point in my life? Any time. What, what kid did you think was most closest to you? Leanne. My mama. And on the phone, my closest is... I talk to her every single day on the phone because I got nothing better to do with my life. Two hours a day, Monday through Friday. And then and four three hours each on Saturday and Sunday. For real. Uh, there's more questions. Okay, so what is your favorite song? Oh my god. Yeah, that's a hard question. Too many. Um, hello? Hello? Why are you on the phone doing this? No, you may not speak to me. Who is that? Some random person I don't know. Alright. Um, I'll post a question. <laughs> What's your. Wait, what? Finish My it? song. 
Yeah. Um, color my world with Poppy. Very romantic. He sang it to me on the beach playing the guitar. Aw, that's so sweet. Okay. Um, oh, time in a bottle. That's good one. Sorry. Okay. My favorite song, I got a lot. I can't really pick one. Or two. I think My Girl, but not the one that you're thinking. I don't know if it's called that. It's hard to explain. I don't know if it's called that, but it's by a country singer. Then I don't know it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I just picture it being mine and Hunter's song, so that's why I think about that. Well, it has to be your favorite song. What's one place you want to go? I do want to go. Um, You've already been to a lot of places. No, not really. One place I want to go, um, I wouldn't mind going back to Maui. Maui? I like Maui. Maui. Maui, Maui. Maui. Maui, Maui. That's a drink, too. Of course, right now. Um, I want to go to Australia. Ooh, Poppy wants to go there. I love kangaroos. Me, too. They're fun. Or I would go somewhere that had moose, because mooses are my favorite animal. But Canada. Alaska has moose. We saw them up there. They're so cool. They're so damn big. I haven't been in many places. Alaska. I wouldn't mind going back to Maui. That's it. I went to California. <laughs> I have been to crazy California. about it. Went to Las Vegas. We'll never go never there again. Never been to Vegas. Never, ever, ever go there again. Ever. Never go to Vegas? Nope. I'm going to go to Vegas. Mm -mm, don't go. I'm going to go. I came home sick. I'm going to get married by Elvis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, what's one place you would never go to? Las Vegas. Okay, another place. Um, um, I don't know. I'm pretty game, I guess. Except for Vegas. What? I'm trying to think of a place I want to go to. It's hard. There's too many places in the world. Pretty much any like bad place. No kidding. So the hell like I like I place. want to go to Mexico, but when my friend went to Mexico, she no. couldn't drink the water there. Yes. She had to drink out of water bottles. No. So I would say not there because I have a habit when I'm in the shower drinking the water. <laughs> you don't do that in Mexico. Yeah, obviously you can't. And then every time I'm at the beach, you know, I get water on my face and I lick my lips because it's salty. Okay. I like salt but not that much. Okay. Um, I would say who's your favorite grandchild but you can't ask it like that. can't answer that either. Who's the grandchild you hang out with the most? Besides Nick. In person? In person. I guess it would be you because you're the only one who can visit me. You hear that, cousins? Making Grammy feel bad about herself. You you people come, gotta come down and see us. You won't come visit her. You know, I free woman board. I, I just turned freshly 18, and you know, as soon as I was able to take my trip to, I took, I, I wasted my, not wasted, not wasted, that was a bad wording on my part. I took all, pretty much all of my spring break and I came down here and spent it with them. Just them, nobody else. That's right. And this Christmas I, I made the drive again, six hours there and back. And you all could do that too, you know. Well, they got a longer drive. But they're also a lot older than me, the ones that can, That's right. that can drive. And they can get together and split the driving. Because you all drive, but you're all old. I can't split the drive with nobody. Yeah. Lexi will be the one. <laughs> oh, hell no. She, she's not driving anywhere. Okay, next. I'm trying to think. I was going to do like something about my tattoos, but I'll, I'll make a whole other video about that later. They're beautiful. Especially mine. That makes it sound like you have a tattoo. No. Your tattoo that you did for us. Another video. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, there's that book. Poor thing. She's depressed. Mm. This is 
a bit sorry to kind of ruin it. I want to ask like some grandmother questions, but do I dye my hair? Obviously not. But she got long ass hair. Could be because I'm trying to emulate my grandmother who always wore, she had gorgeous long hair and she always wore it in a braided bun. That's what I like to do. Here's, here's one. How many, how many grandkids do you have? 18. Who's the oldest? Well, Roger, who's not with us anymore and after that, TJ. How old is he? 23. Who's the youngest? Miss Paisley, one years old. She's my sister. Freshly, one years old. Lolly, I'm not appreciating your toy playing over there. What is your full name? Don't even go there. Just go, go there. I don't want to hear myself. Sylvia Iris Acosta Ulrich. She has a beautiful name and she thinks it's terrible. It's ugly. I don't like my name. Mine's I love your name. Mine's Haley Marie Aligo. You named me after the hell Bop comment. You're lucky your middle name is not Bop. <laughs> Haley Bop Aligo. <laughs> Your new name. That's okay. My ma uh, my monogram is uh, I almost said mammogram. <laughs> my my monogram is ham. That's a fun fact. Are you named after anybody? Huh. The Sylvia comes from the Jewish lady in the bed next to my mother when she had me in the hospital because she hadn't picked out a name. Oh my god. <laughs> Swear to God. Okay, that is terrible, funny, and kind of gross. Which came out of Wally's butt is gross too. But where are you from? The Bronx, New York. You were born there too? Well, the hospital's in Manhattan, but yeah. I'm not gonna say where did you grow up, but the Bronx. I grew up in the Bronx. Are your grandparents still married? Yes, they are. Whose grandparents? Yours? My grandparents, yes. Yes. How many years? 35. 35 years and strong, and I can't even keep a relationship for longer than a year and four months. So far, so far. You will. You will. <laughs> Oh, this is fun. What is one thing you never revealed to your parents? That's fun. I don't think I have one. I don't. I don't I don't like getting in trouble, so like they know everything. Yeah. That's when I know everything. everything. Okay, what's one thing that your dad didn't know? Same thing as my mother. Nothing. What do you call your grandparents? I call her Grammy. And I call her husband Poppy. Her husband. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What is your biggest accomplishment? So I've been married for 35 years. This time. <laughs> this time. <laughs> um, my biggest accomplishment. Oh. I have to think on that. <laughs> this is gonna. I'm gonna be throwing so much tea and shade. So much shade. At me? No. Uh -huh. You will, you will be at somebody. Um, I'm gonna ask this next question. My greatest accomplishment? A successful marriage? I said besides that, but okay. What? what is your biggest regret? Her last marriage. <laughs> <laughs> this chain. I had to throw that in there. I'm sorry. What is your eye color? Brown, boring brown. Brown with a blue rim like mine. I don't have blue rim. Yes, you do. Every brown eye has a blue rim around it. I didn't know that. The more you know with Haley Marie. I should look in the mirror more. Who is your favorite actor? Oh, um. I have a few. You have a few? I have Anthony Hopkins for sure. Ed Harris. 
and there was somebody else popped in my head, popped right back up. Oh, Sam Elliott. Oh my God, to die for. Okay. My favorite actor is Ryan Reynolds. My favorite actress. Who's your favorite actress? Try, I, I don't gotta, have one. I don't like women. <laughs> I absolutely love, what is her freaking name? Sandra Bullock. She's my, she's, she's hands cool. down, my favorite. She's so pretty. Who's your favorite musician? Um. Uh. I got a good question. Where'd you come up with these questions? I pulled it up online because not enough people My asked me. My favorite musician. Questions. That includes singer? Yes. Yeah, what's what? It, yes. Andrea Bocelli. Andrea Bocelli. Bocelli. Okay. He's wonderful. My favorite musician is Eminem. Eminem, Eminem. Of course. What is your favorite childhood memory? My father coming home from Horner Hart where he used to work. Wait, say that again because that sounds like a completely different word from the mouth. My father coming home from work at Horner Harder. Horner Harder. Horn and Harder. That's where they used to have the automats. And with the most beautiful, beautiful birthday cake that I still remember. This is going to be a good one. What is your favorite cultural activity? Sorry, My no. what? Your favorite cultural activity. No that's not a cultural activity. That's my. That's our family activity. Um, oh, that's part of like culture. Uh, I guess. Because we're Puerto Rican. Kind of like Noche ties buena. into. Noche, okay. Noche buena. Noche buena. What's what is your favorite drink? Your favorite normal drink and alcoholic drink. Uh, Coke. It's her favorite drink. And margarita. My favorite drink is. I have a lot. I want to say Coke, but it's not Coke. I like if I if there's Coke and Dr Pepper, I'm gonna choose the Dr Pepper. But if there's Coke and Sprite, I'm gonna choose the Coke. But I like I like Coke. I like Sprite. I like Dr Pepper. I like I like root beer a lot. Root beer is really good. I'm an alcoholic. An alcoholic drink cannot say because I'm underage. That's right. What is your favorite fairy tale? I know mine. Sleeping Beauty. Has always been Mine's Beauty and the Beast. Cool. What is your favorite holiday destination? I love anywhere where there's snow. I like snowy Christmases. It just makes it feel more like Christmas. Absolutely. What is your favorite acti uh, physical activity? Shopping. <laughs> Shopping. That counts. <laughs> Shopping, crafting, that's it. What is your favorite quote? I don't have one. I have one, but it's like a really long one. It's by Eminem. Go for it. Um, I can't. <laughs> I can't, like, I don't remember how it starts. Okay. But anyway. What is your all time favorite town or city and why? Boston, Massachusetts. And mm why? -hmm. No, Boston. Because we went there on a spur of the moment with no planning ahead. And we just saw so many things, and it was just, it was just wonderful. And it's very historic. I, I like New York City. Especially well, during Christmas time. It's the Aww. prettiest freaking thing ever. That's true. But just like, normal. Like just to go there, just to go Not there and Christmas have. Christmas time. Just to go there and have fun. Yeah. I'd say. I don't like it when it's like really, really cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It'll be fine. Somewhere, guys. somewhere in Georgia, but not Effingham, because that's where I'm from. I don't. Boring. My dog doesn't like Effingham either. <laughs> He's like, I don't got grass to pee on, or trees to pee on, because they keep cutting down trees. <laughs> What was your favorite TV show when you were a child? God, I don't remember. I was going to say something very rude. When I was in high school, it was Dark Shadows. I know that. My when I was a child, I have no clue. When you were an adult, adult, it was Ren and Stimpy. 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 For a while, yeah. 
Now it's every crime show that is. Yeah, any ID channel. <laughs> um, I like... And the Justice Channel. My favorite show when I was a child that's not alive anymore would say, Ah, Real Monsters. Oh, I used to like that. Oh, I know I used to like... Well, no, I wasn't a kid. Never mind. And then other shows that w was never canceled was Spongebob, but I think that's every oh. kid. An adult. No, my favorite kid, Family Guy. My mom he used to let us watch that. We, my mom had no filter with anything for us. Are you a dog person or a cat person? Dog. I like dogs, but I also like cats. Carly would definitely say cats. Carly's my older sister. Dog. Are you a fan of any sports? Baseball. Baseball. Are you a good cook? Uh, I... Twice, yeah. twice a year I am. Twice a year? <laughs> Not every day. Uh, I, I, I'm decent. Christmas and Thanksgiving, that's it. <laughs> I'm decent. I'm hungry. Are you an early adopter or a late adopter? I don't know what that means. What? If you had more courage, what would you do differently in your life now? Drive. Drive. <laughs> well. Okay. Well, I'm not going to say drive, because I can drive. I can, but I won't. Make more YouTube videos, because it's been a really long time. <laughs> Who has left the most impact on your life? Mm. My father. I'm going to say my, my mom. I just... So many different things with that. Yes. There's just so much to learn from what she's done and what she's taught me. Yes. And then I would say Poppy because the six hour car rides, man, just straight up. We love those. Straight up, just word vomit coming out of his mouth with so much life, life, life lessons. Life lessons. Who's the worst boss you've ever had? Did that hit? Us? Did that did that trigger you? That triggered her. <laughs> this is fun. Say it. Go ahead. Who cares? I don't even remember their name. But when, when I think you remember the name, I just think when, you don't want to start things. I know the last name, but I'm not you know the name. last name. Actually, no. The, the the chick that worked for them, who was my direct boss, was. Yeah, I it was in, in at Condit Ford when they sold out to another people other people and the chick that worked for them my supervisor not really like i worked at kroger and i got treated horribly i was the longest one i was working there at the time and just like everybody there like over time like when the store first opened everything was great and then like as time went on like everyone got so bitchy they were always yelling at me like i remember the one girl because we had like a list that we had to do with specific things to do at a certain time and I had swept, and then I had to go out a lot. First of all, it was hot as hell outside. And she called me back in on the radio because I didn't sweep correctly. When I did, it's just, I can't help it. If I sweep, because we sweep during store hours, so it's not like I can sweep and it'd be perfect all day long. It can't be. Well, she got mad, and then I went to go sweep, and her foot legit, here's my broom, because it is a long swivel one. Here's her foot. It didn't even touch her. And she said, are you trying to run over my feet? Uh -huh. She was a bitch. Her name was Connie. I don't know her last name, but you she should was have a bitch. said, "Yeah, I am." This is so stupid. Can you do split? Me no. <laughs> My I, sister could do it. I can. That. I can. I can only do it like this. I can't do. I can do that. I don't know if she could do it. Fun fact: I'm in yoga class, and I can't sit in yoga position. I can't overlap my legs. I have to sit in crisscross. The teacher gives me nasty looks all the time, but it's okay. Like, like my right so hip. Lifting it with your. My right hip. Yeah, yeah. My right hip. Like my knee will be like completely up in the air while this one's all the way laying down. I just can't get it. Hmm. Can you dance? What? Can you dance? I used to. What are we doing now? No. <laughs> it's not dancing, but okay. I used to do hip hop and lyrical for a very short amount of time. That's Can you cool. whistle? I don't have a good whistler. Mine's better than yours. I'm. I can't whistle. 
And I know where I get it from. I can whistle, kind of. Do you remember your dreams? Like, when you, like, have dreams? Very, very rarely. I don't ever remember my dreams. I remember this one dream I've ever had where I, it was younger. It was when me and my brother played a, were playing football, and he pushed me, and I fell on a bumblebee, and I got stung. So after that, I had, like, constant dreams at least once or twice a month of the same dream as a big-ass bee that would chase me into the door, yep. and I'd shut the screen door, and then its stinger would come through and try to sting me, and I'd slam me on the door. But that's a weird dream. I had it a couple months ago, too. I don't know why. It just randomly occurred. I have one recurring dream since I was a kid. Uh, but the other dreams, you know, sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't know what. Do you save old greeting cards and letters or throw them away? Oh um, boy. Because I'm a bitch. That's BS. If I can show you. I have one card. If I can show you. Greeting cards. Like, I'm talking about Christmas, birthday. I'm talking about all that. I saved them for a while. She, if I could turn the camera right now, which I can't, I'm just too lazy to get up and do that. There's. She legit has a thing that has a whole bunch of freaking Christmas cards. But those are from this year. The, you get that many cards in a year? Yeah. You send out a lot, you get a lot. Tell people you love them, they love you back. Quote from Grammy. Well. Do you spell the color gray as G-R-E-Y or G-A-R-A? -A? So do I. Although, I've seen so many times in both things, it's crazy. I like, I personally like A-Y. Alright, let's go back to your teenage years. Oh, well, not God. not your teenage years, to when you met Poppy years. I was not teenage Do you prefer kissing or cuddling? I, I like cuddling. cuddling. Yeah, I like cuddling. I like being snuggled. And fun fact, I like being the big spoon. Sometimes I like being little spoon. Yeah. What is that? You don't know what spooning is? I know what spooning is. What's the big spoon and the little spoon? The big spoon is like the man usually... Yeah, the back. Yeah, yeah, the man's usually behind I like, you. I like... That's oh. the big spoon. Oh, no, I like the other way. Yeah, I like spooning them. So I like putting my nose like right at the back of their head. And I'm like, breathing. I don't even like wrap my arms around them. I'll wrap my leg and then I'll like tuck my arms and I'll just like <laughs> sleep. We have a wolf in the house. Hmm? We have a wolf in the house. Completely ignoring what just happened. Okay. Do you have a garden? No. I cannot grow anything. I She kills everything. Kill cactus even. <laughs> yes, I do. I wish that was a lie, but it's not. <laughs> do you have a tattoo? No, ma'am. Are you sure? I'm positive. Are you 100% sure? 100%, 1,000% sure. Not a one. Okay. I have, you can be like that. I have three. I have three tattoos. You're a braver man than I, Gamba Den. What was that? <laughs> I gonna den. So I'm a movie, you're a better man than I, Gamba Den. Do you have any allergies? No. We're gonna end this video here because my dog is being very stubborn. And loud and whiny and all that stuff. Thank you for listening, though. What? <laughs> Nothing. This is so aggravating. I'm sorry.